Two convicted felons are sharing their stories in hopes others won't make their same mistakes. Well, tonight, the men spoke to a crowd in Portsmouth about landing in prison and how difficult it's been finding opportunities since their release. Then your side's Joe Fisher joins us now with how they are helping to take back the community. Joe? Well, Tom and Ida, the conversation was titled Real Talk with Ex-Felons. These men admit they committed crimes, they've served their time, but they believe the community needs to change their attitude towards felons and support them instead of throwing them by the wayside. Sitting before the community are two men with a past they're not proud of. Through different means and through using, you know, my brain for the wrong reasons, I ended up in, into a different track at about 14 years old, started selling crack cocaine. Peter Olanatori got five years for selling drugs in 2003. Marky Riddick, seven years for his role in a 2004 murder. Both are leading a conversation they hope will help others. It's rough out here, I understand, but it still don't mean you gotta go left field. Both say parents can do their part by paying attention to their kids. Pastor and community activist Barry Randall organized the talk. We don't want to wait for things to happen to start having these um, important conversations about why people are doing the things they're doing. Mayor John Rowe and Vice Mayor Paige Cherry agree Portsmouth can do more to keep kids busy and learning so they make good choices. Oh, I think his shirt says it all, pivot. And that's what we want young people to do is pivot the right way. The Ex-cons say since their release, jobs have been hard to come by, even with a college education. Olana Torrey started his own business after submitting 300 applications. It's difficult because I've had, you know, some callbacks, but we can't get past my criminal affidavit. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a 15-year history that I can't get past and to see that the progress that I've made today. They say the community should see convicted felons not as bad guys, but people who want a second chance. Given the right chance, given the right opportunities, and not having a whole system against us, we can, we can turn around. We can. And the mayor says those people who apply for jobs in the city of Portsmouth do not have to say up front if they've been convicted of a felony in order to put all applicants on an equal playing field. I'm Joe Fisher, Ted on your side.